At ESMO 2021, I presented new data from the Stampede platform trial in men with advanced prostate cancer. Why did we do this analysis? The majority of men who die from prostate cancer in Europe and North America were non-metastatic at diagnosis. For the past 15 years, we've known that high-risk non-metastatic prostate cancer patients who receive androgen deprivation therapy for three years plus local radiation therapy do better than with either alone. However, post-treatment failure rates remain high. So here we randomized 1,974 men with high-risk non-metastatic prostate cancer to two years fixed duration abratrum-based therapy plus standard of care, ADT for three years plus radiation therapy. So what's the headline result? It's good news for patients and physicians. We had a significant improvement in metastasis-free survival when we added two years of abratrum-based therapy to ADT alone. The hazard ratio, 0.53. This translates into a six-year improvement in metastasis-free survival defined as death from any cause or metastasis confirmed by imaging from 69% to 82%. An improvement in overall survival with a hazard ratio of 0.6, very significant results. The six-year improvement in survival was from 77% to 86%. This analysis was a meta-analysis of two comparisons. One included abratrin alone, the other included abratrin and enzalutamide. Subgroup analysis of the two treatment comparisons so shows no discernible difference in benefit from adding enzalutamide to abiraterone, but we do see increased toxicity with the combination. So we conclude that there is no justification for the combination of enzalutamide and abiraterone. And secondly, that abiraterone-based therapy for two years is a new standard of care for men with non-metastatic high-risk prostate cancer.